What's up, Maniacs? My name is Mex. I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac, if you will. And today we are talking about the icon Sting, someone that is back in wrestling after his terrible stint in WWE, but we see him more on a weekly basis now, supporting the younger acts on AEW. I am not alone. I will be talking about Sting's career today with the usual suspects. We've got it's Sting. <laughs> Is that your name now? <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Cameron. We got Cameron. It's GG. We got GG. And it's Skillet. And we have oh. the man they call Skillet. Right, guys. So before we get into it, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow my guests. Their information will be in the description. So, yeah, hit them up. And, yeah, let's get into it. We're talking about Sting. Break it down. Break it down! Right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is his aesthetic, his look, his appearance, his music, all of that kind of stuff when it comes to aesthetic. I know Sting will probably score pretty well in this department, but we'll see what the lads have to say. And let's start with skillet dun, dun, dun. what are you saying five five for a steak for sting gg five five and cam three joking <laughs> four four okay so let's uh -oh. let's hear it from uh -oh. yourself <clears throat> uh oh <clears throat> i might have been a bit harsh but the thought four might have been fair but in terms of like aesthetics sting's a tire so for surface thing mm. Colorful face paint, blonde hair, standard, good good attire. Crow sting, standard. Nothing. Nah. Yeah. You you don't sound impressed. You uh, you, no, 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 <laughs> you don't no, sound no. impressed. Uh, like it was nothing like wow in you, terms of. From, 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 before we get to GG and and um, skillet, before they rip you a new one, yeah. <laughs> like these things you're describing with no oomph are what people loved about Sting. And you're just here saying, oh, yeah, surface Sting, colours, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, you, crow, crow Sting, Thank black and white. Yeah. Thank you, brother. But if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. <laughs> Let's go to Gigi. Uh, I have a rule. If you've wear, if you've ever worn tassels, you get a five automatically. <laughs> so. so that means you like me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even like, I'm not even down with the tassel thing, but I hear yeah. it. Sting, the surf, like you said, surface Sting, the face paint matching the tights, the colours were mad, different patterns every week. He did his own face paint as well. Like and then obviously the crow sting, like that just would have trans or it did transcend at the time. Mm. Like Crow was obviously quite a popular film, film and they've taken influence from that and what that you're whole failing look. to realise, Cam, is Sting, especially Surface Sting, was so synonymous with this restaurant. It was like uh so you had the warrior with the face paint, you had the yeah. Legion of Doom, and you had Sting. And that was like one of the biggest draws with that look. That look was like the fresh baby face look, the bit, you know, the, the, the blonde hair, the face paint, everything. So many kids, even myself, painted their face like Sting. What, go back right? and watch it now. You see them in the crowd. You know, right? Wait, wait, wait. So that was, oh no, that's one thing already, yeah? That's like Sting, like an icon already. In those days, he was already an icon. And then for him to reinvent himself and come with that crow look was at that time, bro, it was insane. You have to, I, I think you have to be there to kind of really grasp how special that moment was. And when you talk about a complete overhaul of someone's character, that is pretty much yeah. like the yeah. other end he of the spectrum. Flipped yeah. it one, other one, end it's of like take, yeah. I mean, take a try it with the Dead Man thing, but Dead Man thing was, just, was actually just him being himself. Mm. It's like, imagine if Taker just flipped it and we just ended up being like um, Kerwin... Was it? Kerwin White. White. Kerwin White. <laughs> 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 like, it worked. For an example. <laughs> but it worked. You know what I mean? Like, it was just a 360 flip and it was so fitting for the time of change when wrestling was going through. For someone to be a, 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 a suitable rival for the NWO, it was a much needed revamp. And so many wrestlers don't, like we talk about Edge, they don't revamp themselves. They don't. Yeah. They don't. It's hard to do it. Sting did it not only once, not only twice, but so many other times, and he did it perfectly. And when you think about his look as well, it 
forgive me if we're not including this kind of thing, but you know, him on the rafters, him coming oh down. That counts. That's, 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 that's entrance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Down with the zip wire. His entrance mm-hmm. music. Nobody saw that at the time. Yeah. His entrance music. Oh, the like, music was beautiful. Yeah, man. Just the I, whole I think look. I think Sting has had great entrance music in WCW. His one in WWE, which you didn't hear enough, I think was great. Yeah. His one in AEW, Amazing. when they debuted Fire. him with Amazing. the snow, I Amazing. said, stop it. Yeah. Like, yeah, to be fair, even his current aesthetic, like that Man. whole yeah. cold winter, winter is coming thing that he's stuck to, like that whole thing. I can't, I can't so lie, good. I did a GG. I forgot about the theme. <laughs> <laughs> I admit, in my spare time, sometimes you know, I, we all do it. We all listen to wrestling themes. Yeah, yeah from time to time. Sting's theme. Yeah. Always yeah. To. Which, which one? Which one? Oh, it depends. What's like, your go-to one? Cam. Oh, Crow, Crow. Oh, Crow, okay. Crow. Crow. Especially, especially yeah. that, I always listen to his entrance music going towards um, Starcade. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, just beautiful. Oh, beautiful yeah, beautiful. yeah. Sorry, I forgot about Cam, that. you know how hard it is to, for a whole year, you're just, you're looking like the Crow, you're in the rafters. You're not, brother, you're not, not doing one, nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not a promo yeah. for a whole year. You only started cutting promos after you beat Hogan at Starcade. And the crowd was, bruv, him coming down, pointing the bat. Bruv, don't get me started on Sting, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> bruv, that, listen, that. my childhood was amazing because of that man. So, And and I don't want to, obviously, I, I would say, Cam, you're probably just a tad younger than, than the rest of us. So that might be mm. something to take into consideration For here. Sure. Um, and I'm, cons- and I'm also considering that too. Yeah, yeah, my time of Sting is only TNA. That's a shame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 to be fair, not really. <laughs> he was no, he was decent there, but we we obviously know Joker WCW was yeah, best. But that's even aesthetic, Joker Sting. Yeah, Sting. yeah, it was like, amazing. Yeah, he tried it there. Yeah. Like, but like you said, the bat, bro. Even just that look, oh. having that accessory, like every, like just having that. Oh, bro, it was just like, when I think about, it, I still have goosebumps, bro. It was just, it's a be- it was a beautiful time. It was cold. It was, it was cold. A beautiful time of So aesthetic for Sting. What are we gonna agree on? Five. Come on, five. 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 Cam's five. been five talked guys. into it. So Sting's Aesthetic, five. Break it down! Right, so next we're talking about Sting's promo, his promo ability. Was he a mic man? Could he command attention when speaking? Legendary promos he may have had. We're going to start with Gigi. Let us know what you think. I'm going to go three. Three for Sting's promo and yourself, Cam? Three. And skill it. This one's hard because if I'm realistically talking, it's gonna give me two. Mm. But let's see what the board says then. I'm gonna go three. Okay, so you've seems it seems out of generosity. You've given him yeah, a three. Like, Why? He hasn't like he's not a bad. When I say two, by mm-hmm. the way, that doesn't mean he's shit on the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not a terrible talker. He has some good promos. I think the most memorable Sting promo, in my opinion, apart from that great white shark one, which was terrible back in. <laughs> Ah, yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> but he had like that really one about when he, when he left WCW and came back before he came back as the crow. He left and he said the only thing uh, that's certain about Sting is not his, not his foot. Yeah. And then he left. Yeah, that was a really good promo. And he's obviously that promo when he was wild up and he slapped Razor Ramon when he NWO first came in. Um, and, but, and then obviously when he came back to came back as Crow Sting, they were smart to be like, you don't need to talk because mm-hmm. you're a star, you're an icon anyway. All yeah. you need to do is do your taker thing, and that's it. But um, yeah, he had he, promo why he's not that good on the mic. He's that Brett's got Brett's better than him on the mic. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, and that's a fact. Maybe. Yeah, uh, Hobbs got but probably. Brett's can't, we have I can <laughs> quote you Brett promos that are an amazing promos. I can't do that with Sting. Fair enough. Gigi, you gave him a free as well. Yeah, he's like white meat baby face <laughs> yeah. promo. Like he knows <laughs> how to. He knows <laughs> like you're a white meat baby face. Tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, he can get the crowd behind him and still to this day, he can drive the crowd. And that, you know, gives him extra brownie points in terms of promo. But again, yeah. yeah he's captivating. Yeah. And he's a not man, to, he's not really great on the man, but he's still captivating. Yeah, so yeah. that's just, the, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. the freaking genius of Sting. Yeah. And I can't even, it's annoying that I can't remember it. What was it recently he said to Tony Schiavone when he turned up at AEW? He said some cringy, like, do you remember? I probably do. Jungle with Chacho w- or something like that. I swear. It was just like the second week or something yeah, after you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. He does that. But then, like, the owl gets over. Probably why Vince didn't want to use him as well. Maybe. But yeah, he's not. He's terrible! <laughs> 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 but yeah, nah, he's, 
<laughs> it's not a strong promo. I think yeah. two I wouldn't have argued with, but yeah. let's give I'm him some him props. He I can like work him. a crowd. So, yeah, three, I think. Like, mine's based on TNA, so, like, that's why I've given it a three, because... The Joker had, stuff. He, the Joker that, stuff was good. That, yeah, that, that was decent. That, decent. Decent. That was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his, his promo against Samoa Joe... Like he's had because that this was leading up to main event mafia, yeah. So he, Sting was cutting promo in terms of like younger generation, like they're not like respectful enough. This and everything. He's very passionate. He's had uh, there was one with um, Jeff Jarrett in two thousand and six, leading up to that Bound for Glory. I think it was. Mm. I can think of a few mm. in that like, TNA mainly, but not. That's why I gave it a three. But yeah. Not great, great, but he can, like you say, he can captivate. When he does talk, he can captivate the whole crowd. Absolutely, he does. Yeah. He does. Is that captivation that's sting, what, though, and yeah, not... All, is it what he's saying, or is that the man himself? It's it, definitely the man himself, but... Like, he's, he, he's, so, he's so talented. He doesn't, yeah, he can blink and... and <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, he's just yeah, got yeah. it. Like, yeah. when you talk about star power, yeah, he's just got it. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with he's that. Just got it. And I wish Vince saw that a bit more. Yeah, I mean, I think Vince gave him that because I think remember, I think he cut a promo after Mania in it in 2015. That I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully I'll be back. Or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 I yeah. Vince I was like, oh, this ain't great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's the argument that I mean, talking's it's not easy, but you know, there's the argument that he probably should have went to WWE earlier than he did oh uh, yeah <laughs> so as soon as they yeah that company he should have just been but he was sitting just to collecting checks weren't they so but then when that when and that he money finished he should have didn't they? he should have just went to nah. yeah i just don't feel like in 2002 it would have been a perfect time for sting to come, to come in wwe in terms of like in terms of characters sting the character has to be able to crow mm-hmm. i don't know i don't think it would have worked like what that. you don't well, think it would have worked sting crow was a star bro it what still are you works talking now. about? Still works <laughs> now. No, no, no. Can, but in that time, no. at that time, more than ever, it would have worked because at that time they just acquired WCW. WWE fans were waiting and chopping at the bits to see WCW and WWE the get WCW. together. Obviously, Invasion flopped. Yeah. And then you had the NWO come in. It would have and Bischoff then came. In. They would have loved. St- I'm telling you right now, if that was the perfect time for Sting to come because he would have went. It would have went over. It would have. The same way Rey Mysterio got that grand opening debut and the crowd went nuts for him, Sting yeah. would have got that tenfold. Yeah. I'm not, Sting, I'm, I'm not screaming about the reaction of the crowd, but I'm talking about like what you wanted. Everyone, everyone raised about wanting to see Sting versus Undertaker. Undertaker was still doing. But that wasn't going to be the first thing they would have done. The plan was for him. To, they were going to sign. They would have signed Sting. They wanted to sign Sting. When did Taker go back? Sting. Sting. When did Taker the original go back plan to was to sign match. Sting cool. to get uh, him to face against Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 18. That was the original plan. And then they were going to probably do whatever with Taker. And Taker, like Taker came back to, to um, Freedom Taker at 2004. So but, but then you could argue Sting could have been the catalyst to turn him to the dark side again. Exactly. And true, true. Done, I, think much, done, yeah. I think they would have done well with Sting. But I'm just, I'm, just taking, I'm just taking the Sting as a character in that landscape, putting him in that landscape of 2002 era, WWE. Ah. Not impressed, no. I, 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 see, I can see it, but I don't see there it. There was so much WCW talent that he probably already worked with that he could continue yeah, to Yeah, but work they, with they well. would like not... Could have done more Booker T They were not, like, or gimmick um, characters, though. You see, like, Booker T, Goldberg, they're not wearing face paint gimmick-wise. They're not doing, like, Undertaker stuff. Yeah, but Sting's managed to put it over his whole career. Yeah, yeah but that was WCW. And then, then yeah, he but he's still doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but now it's okay, because obviously now it's nostalgia. It's like, cool, yeah. we love that. But at that time... Nah. It's the same thing as, like, for example, like Undertaker. Undertaker wouldn't have worked. Undertaker said himself, he wouldn't have worked during actual era if he was doing Dead Man stuff. He needed to change. I think it's a bit different, though. Sting's not very, like... Yeah, but you you like don't Kane, have to suspend though, disbelief more time. Yeah, but Sting. Kane had to yeah, change yeah, as well, yeah. though. He wouldn't... But this would have been Sting in the WWE. It's totally different. And you don't it's have to totally suspend different. disbelief for Sting. Like, he's not doing spooky, hocus-pocus stuff. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. you Man wanted stuff. to see. But if you didn't get what you wanted from WWE Sting, then would you have been happy? Do you mean? As in, like, if you didn't see, for example, like Sting in the rafters, all that stuff. Well, they couldn't do that. That that would have not Tr- happened. Uh, tr- yeah, they would have done the rafters. Yeah, yeah. They could have had him in the rafters, but they wouldn't no have. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. 
So they, I mean, they, they, they could have done some innovative stuff. But still, yeah, you just need to stand it. there with the bat, bro. That's it. That's what you wanted. <laughs> it's what he did when he finally did come could in. Could have pointed yeah. at anyone, yeah. anybody on that roster in 2002. You could, could have, have been the one to stop Triple H's reign that's of that's terror as the world say, heavyweight yeah. champion. We me, wouldn't have. Me personally, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have. Like like he lost anyway in 2015. You know he's probably right. You think Sting in 2002? Come on, come on. Yeah, if they're putting him in Goldberg, H, did, Goldberg, come on. What is it yeah. that Goldberg was him destroy everybody? Yeah, yeah. You had it. Goldberg, a legitimate guy. Yeah, I and mean, look what he did yeah, to him. Yeah, triple yeah, that's true. You're probably right. My, but my, me personally, the perfect time for Sting to come in was 2006. Mm. Why? Oh, I think Undertaker was what? <laughs> that's when Undertaker had, oh. he had come back as a dead man and he was at his hottest. You, yeah, like probably in that iteration. You, you just had Undertaker. I agree, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, yeah, yeah, imagine yeah. Undertaker versus The Sting. brand split, yeah? Huh? The brand split. Yeah, yeah, imagine you had Undertaker versus Sting at WrestleMania 22. After Undertaker had that great match with Kurt Angle with No Way Out. That was a great, that was one of the best matches Undertaker yeah, yeah. ever had. But instead you had Undertaker versus Mark Henry. Apart for Angle. <laughs> Regular days work. Regular day's work. <laughs> well, for Taker, that's one of his best matches. You, you had a cocking match with, with um, Mark Henry at WrestleMania 22. Yeah, you know what? You're probably come right. On. Sting probably would have been the best come time on. to come then. then to come. <laughs> yeah. And then instead he went to TNA. I don't, I don't, he, know, he I don't just, know how we got here. To stay. How do we? We're talking about his promo. <laughs> I don't know how we got. I don't know how we got here. It was a brilliant conversation, but um, love Sting. Man. Segue into legacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're kind of discussing his legacy, but we. I think we. Everyone said threes um, for Sting's promo. We're we gonna stick with that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So three for his promo. Break it down. Right, next up, we are talking about Sting's ability. This is his in-ring ability. How good was he between the ropes? Legendary matches, feuds, all of that kind of stuff. But as a wrestler, how did he get on? Gigi looks like he's having a, a hard time at this one. So we'll leave, we'll leave Gigi till last. We'll start with Cam. This is what did you one. give? Three. Three. Skillet. Three and Gigi. Yeah, three. I'm three. pretty sure you, you want to give a two. Someone wants to give a two, in it? Now I was no. nearly going four. No, he's really? Okay. Yeah, he's not, he's not two. But he's not. He's not up there. Solid man. worker. Has some great legendary matches. You know, with Ric Flair, but that's Ric Flair making him look like a star. Mm. <laughs> some good matches with Steamboat again. Steamboat <laughs> doing his thing. Um, you know, Cactus Jack, but again, good, that's very Cactus good Jack. of Cactus Jack. Good match with Cactus Jack. Great Vader. matches with Vader. I was just gonna say mm. Vader. Uh, you know, he's had some, you know, uh, great matches with Hogan. Muta. Uh, the great Muta doing a madness <laughs> mm. with Sting. But that's, again, it's great Muta. Yeah. To compare. Uh, Sting is a, a good, solid w- ring worker, a good technician, but he's not a great wrestler. He's never been a great wrestler. But he's done his thing. He's a good worker. He's like a, 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 a better edge, in a way. <laughs> a better edge. What about <laughs> Austin, who recently got a free as well? But like I, I explained, the reason why Austin goes. Uh, if Austin, so, so Austin's Austin, better Austin, than Sting. Austin, Austin's a better in ring worker than yeah. Sting. Okay. If he if he continued to have that in the WWE, mm-hmm. he would have been a four. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Sting, just very good at what he does. A good worker, but just not a great worker. In the, Fair in enough. That, in that ring, in that squared circle. You guys not not wild. Even from your point of view, where you said you mainly got your exposure to Sting, um, in TNA cam. What would you say about it in there? Still free. Yeah, it's kind of like the same. Like you need to like a comparison. He said like the Ric Flair Steamboat TNA. It was AJ, AJ Kurt Angle, exactly. Joe, Joe. It was all them guys. Like I want to say carry carry is a bit harsh, but like you need a good opponent to like carry carry yourself in terms of like mm-hmm. getting a good match out of it. Actually, you know what? I give him credit because Thing versus Abyss was a good one. Mm. That was a good match. Yeah. But then again, it's Abyss, though, isn't it? I think Abyss, Abyss yeah. had a ma- great matches with so many people. Yeah, Very underrated. Good, yeah. Very underrated. Oh. Yeah, he's Sting will car- get you to the feud. Like he'll do his, you know, his aesthetic comes into play the and the his character and work is get you yeah. to the match. And providing that he's got a strong opponent, he's going to deliver in a good match. Yeah. yeah, like the thing with Sting as well is he doesn't really fit into any category. Like he almost wrestles like a powerhouse. Like yeah, because maybe. like you watch matches with Flair, he will do. It will be like a hop over, hop over spot, drop kick. Gorilla Press, mm. like it's very like he's very a mixture of all kinds of ties. He's not very technical. I wouldn't, not in terms of like your angles and those kind of like submission wrestlers, but 
and he's wrestled somewhat like a powerhouse. He can. Surfer he Sting even, used to love that drop kick. Yeah, <laughs> and he doesn't do high flying, but he will do a, a, a plancha to the outside. Yeah, yeah. So he's very like he's got a lot of different styles, but none that he does overly well. Mm. So he's just like jack of all solid. trades, yeah, master of, of none. Trades. Yeah, solid, but not a great worker. Stinger Splash is a good spot. <laughs> These live demonstrations. <laughs> See, you guys, you only get this on this channel. Live demonstrations of the move. Absolutely. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Do not try this at home. But yeah, I think Gigi's def definitely right with what he said. I think we need to get Gigi some health insurance or something. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi's going to sue my channel <laughs> very soon. Why, how did I become a jobber, bro? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a jobber in our eyes. Yeah, <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Right, so um, ability for Sting free, free, yeah, yeah free, <clears throat> three out of five. Break it down. Right, last but not least, we're going to talk about Sting's legacy within wrestling how he's going to be remembered when it's all said and done. It's looked like it's all said and done a couple of times within his career, but we still see him, you know, nowadays on our TV through AEW and the work he's doing alongside Darby Allen. So yeah, his legacy, he's been more or less everywhere as well. So a lot, a lot to consider here when it comes to Sting and his legacy. Um, let's start with Skillet. What are you uh, saying? I was going to give him a five, but I think that's a bit too generous. I'm going to say four. Four? Gigi? Yep, four. Four and Cam. Four. Yeah. Pretty much everyone agrees. I mean, talk to me, Gigi, about some of your fondest memories um, that will live long in regards to Sting. Yeah, just like his whole look is just, I don't know, it's just timeless. It's like, unique, yeah. Just, and again, like when we talk about the legacy, we talk about people that have almost transcended wrestling, and Sting is someone that does get brought up in conversation. Outsiders would bring Sting up. Mm -hmm. Like, because of the look, he's very striking. Um, one thing that he would always escape people's... I don't think I've ever heard someone put him in their Mount Rushmore or top five of all time, though. So That's I true. wonder... I, I don't even necessarily know why, because he is one of those wrestlers, like, but he's just, just underneath that top category, the Ric Flairs. Although he's worked with most of these people you put in these categories, yeah, he's... I don't know, he's just not there. I, I struggle to even Do know Do you why. think maybe it's where he's worked? Well, big up Ash like, Rose from Hooked On Wrestling. His mm. thing is on his... Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, see, I'd, I've but never heard a, of anyone but saying Because he's, he's a WCW kid like myself. Yeah. So. Would you put him at your no, I've top 10, though, maybe? Top, he's in my top 20, maybe, Sting. Yeah, yeah. He's in my this top is what 20. I'm, but what, would, um, what for you, then? Because you're, you're probably a lot higher on Sting than I am. Mm. Yeah. So what... I mean, I love Sting. You can love someone and still not really Let put them in your... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I think there's a lot to consider, you know. Um, unfortunately, Sting didn't have that WWE career like I would have loved him to have. And I guess that probably kind of played my... Played a part in it. Played a part in it. Even though the reason why I'm putting Flair in my... Flair's in my Mark Rushmore and a lot of his stuff is from WWE Legacy. It's not even from WWE. Mm. Yeah, it's Flair's in my Mark Rushmore because I saw his WWE run and he was fucking phenomenal. Like and Sting's done work in Japan. Yeah. And Sting has done great work in Japan, and you know, Sting is one of the transcendent, one of the reasons why WCW had transcended and had become a massive global company. But <coughs> I just feel like comparing Sting to like Flair is just different gravy. Flair was so good <laughs> that when he beat Hogan in a house show, the crowd went, the WWE fans went nuts. That's how good Flair is. You get what I mean? So, and that's the reason why that WrestleMania match never happened. So, I don't think you could compare Sting to Flair like that, you know what I mean? And, and but. But you know, Sting's Sting, legacy as well. I think, I think the TNA stuff adds to his legacy, mm -hmm. rather than him having, you know, we've discussed it. Maybe a not so good yeah. uh, WWE run, depending on the time. I mean, it still didn't obviously work out for him. So, yeah, but for him to he not I wouldn't say put TNA on his shoulders, but he was a massive name for them to have, 100%. and he'd done a lot of good work. He was champ twice there, I think twice, three times. TNA maybe? champion, I can't remember. I think NWA champ. I want to say three. Yeah, was this TNA three. champion or in WWE champion? It will count. He was, it will, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to visualize the belt. That TNA I can't remember. WWE, which it was definitely okay, okay. the six. angle. Yeah, okay. The yeah, impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, okay. okay. he's and he's you know he's PWI number one in 1992. 
So he's got account, he's yeah. got some stats, but yeah, it's just I, not I feel like it's more of a thing of the people that we would count as fives. They just done more. It's not mm. like he hasn't done something. Right. You see what I mean? Is I, I think it's yeah. It's not like he's particularly yeah. The, the guys above him just have done a bit more. Um, maybe went around had better runs everywhere else. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he done. I guess the max he had to do with yeah what he was given to play with the WWE run is obviously a, a big blotch because he thing was there. That kind but of went against thing as well. Unfortunately, it's like as great as that whole first year in the NWO and the Sting build up was, and then the, the payoff wasn't that great in terms of the Starcade match itself. Mm. And then oh, what no. they did with Sting after that, they didn't really do anything of no of no yeah, yeah you know what I mean like he won you know he won titles and stuff but they didn't do anything that's like another great sting moment did, did are you talking I mean? about like after nw and then a wolfpack nwo like when so, it was all so said and done be, when it became all nwo wolfpack mm-hmm. and that was just, to me that was a bunch of dumb yeah yeah, yeah of like, course like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, didn't think they, didn't give, they didn't give us another great sting moment yeah you know yeah yeah i agree sting had some yeah, great yeah. moments in his early days the surface thing and mm. then then he gave us that oh shit crows thing mm. and then yeah, that was about it, it. Was yeah, yeah 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 that was about it yeah so it just they didn't give us it, it that is thing should you should never you should they should have given us more moments of thing mm. that's what it was and he didn't get that so i think that's probably why he kind of dipped in people's eyes but yes what he's done and his contribution absolute legend one of the greatest of all time wasn't he one of the four horsemen for like a he few was, weeks he was. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah. do they count that do we no, count, I don't that? count that because that was a stupid storyline <laughs> no and chance him out. Yeah, just nonsense right. why was he even in that i don't understand like Cam, Sweet Cam, baby boy, baby face thing in the horseman. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, what are you saying about his legacy? In terms of legacy, as we're recording this today on Halloween, mm. I can only imagine the amount of kids growing up back in days or even now that put Jeff the Hardy, face, people just, still do. Yeah. Jeff, Hardy. Jeff Hardy was a big sting fan. That's why you see the face paint that Jeff Hardy's doing. Mm. Legacy yeah. of Sting. Yeah. Right now, Darby Allen. Mm. Legacy of Sting. So when it comes to legacy. A lot, lot of wrestlers grew up, especially, especially at the face. John Cena had, yeah, yeah John Cena was a big sting, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, the amount of wrestlers that grew up, like when we were watching wrestling, were either like the sting highly, Cody, yeah, Cody, Cody. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Funny, funny story, actually. You mentioned John Cena, just drawing my memory. My dad, when John Cena first bumped, came onto the scene, my dad actually thought yeah. that it was surfer sting, yeah, yeah, really? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a picture of young sting, a uh, young Cena dressed as sting. Okay. Yeah, that's been out. yeah. My my dad genuinely thought that obviously he had seen him as Crow Sting because my yeah. dad got me into WCW and then he thought he had basically changed his gimmick and gone yeah. back to be a Surfer Sting right. and stuff. You saw when Mr. Anderson had that feud with Sting and he kept dressing up as oh, a yeah, 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 yeah. Sting and uh, they, they were all fans of Sting, man. Like Sting, Sting influenced loads of people, man. But unfortunately, yeah, I just felt he didn't have him much. He didn't have much moments like he should have. Yeah, he had a lot more. Do you think like, I just down to Sting? Like, like, do you think you could have? done a bit more or maybe he could have done a bit more or was yeah. it just a bit too yeah. like maybe i feel like, i think sting loved to play the part i think yeah i think sting was like you're the boss tell me what you want yeah. to do and that's, that's instead it. of taking horns of his creative control and be like yeah. oh, we, we've heard of people in dressing rooms i'd be like i'm not doing that yeah like or this is what we should do and i think sting is just a world-class company, company man yeah, whatever yeah. he's told he'll do it he'll of give course. it his all and yeah that might be to his detriment and i, think, so, I yeah. think a lot of these big players the rick flares the shawns a lot of them were in it for themselves at a lot of times. yeah yeah so mm-hmm. that to that be that honest and that's what you have to be sometimes yeah. if you want to make yeah. it to the the top Coke top top for like, years just yeah a normal, like, he's like he reminds me of steamboat where steamboat just a normal family man just a regular he's guy like, yeah i just want to do my job and go home right? yeah. where he could have like ascended to, steamboat should be if i'm going to be completely honest steamboat should be a lot of our uh, yeah, yeah, Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore Ghost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve was one of the best, you know, mm, mm. but he just didn't care about pursuing a legacy of a, you know. I, 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 but I still don't think it's a, it's a, it's good enough reason, but I don't think it's a valid enough reason not to have done it, because he he was put off originally to go to WWE because because of, of um Goldberg's theme change. Yeah, that, that. but the theme change wasn't a drastic. Change. That's what I mean. It's not a valid reason, not enough reason for him not to have gone to WWE. But no, I think he said that he. I think he also said that he saw what they were doing with Booker T. Yeah, that as well. I don't like what, what they did. Like, you know, very and, and like, yeah. he, said, he didn't like the stuff that you're saying about what Triple H was saying about Booker T and stuff. Yeah. Not coming. Yeah. It's true. They were burying a lot of WCW guys back then. Which is, again, like we're saying, That's someone funny. else would have went in there and said, you ain't doing this with me. Mm. But like, yeah, he, he, he could have been like, anything, if you want like, me, yeah, this is what we're going to do. He could have like laid out the, here's the contract. This is what I want to do. He's obviously not that kind of guy though, isn't it? Yeah, that's what and that's what probably boils down to. But at that time. I know, I know, but. Who's the other company that you could go to? 
Yeah, it's very, it's very much down to. Like, I tried to sign you in '94, and you said no. So fuck off. Yeah, he probably has a bee in his bonnet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, when if you yeah. think about it off the back of that conversation, the, a lot of the guys that will say our fives, their attitude probably stinks. Yeah. <laughs> their they ego is through the it. roof. Yeah, yeah. Um, the brand, so it? yeah, so and maybe like we say, Sting just wasn't about that. So we all agree, legacy for Sting four. Yeah, yeah. 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 Four. Right, so we've totted up the scores for Sting. He come out as a three out of five, three point seven five, if you want to be specific. So, um, just missing out four overall. Again, feels a bit harsh, but I feel like this was um pretty well broken down into you know his career, and I feel like that WWE run could have probably done a lot in terms of bumping the number up, and unfortunately didn't. Cam, what do you think about three out of five for Sting? I think it's, f- I think it's fair-ish, but if you said four, understandable. But yeah. like I say, three point seven five. He's nearly yeah, a yeah, four, four, to be yeah. honest, but not quite. Boys, what are we Just, thinking over there? So we're not giving him four. There are no decimals here, boy. It feels very harsh. It does. It does. Like, for his aesthetic and he be a four. just the look and, you know, his career. But, yeah, it's just he's not that Mount Rushmore. It's just, I don't know what it is, but he's just not. I think when you that mention that season. point, that's a, that's a very good point because I, I, I haven't heard. But not, not no, no, generally no, speaking, is. like you said, Ash put him on his. But before you said that, I agree with Gigi. I've never heard anyone say he's on. He's what what do you mean, Mount Rushmore? Do it in terms of what? Just he's the Mount Rushmore talent. That's what I'm he's saying. a Mount Rushmore well, talent in, for in, sure. Well, like, in wrestling, in the whole yeah, yeah, in wrestling yeah. as a whole, yeah. I, I would hell definitely hell agree. Top four hell names. Hell, hell, no. hell yeah, he is. No, he he, he is. Mount, in, ter- Ma- in terms of Sting, in terms of bro. star are you, power, are you he not? is. I think he is. Damn, don't piss me off. <laughs> nah. You're moving mad. Sting is a Mount Rushmore. Like, like everyone said, nobody would ever put Sting. No, no, no. That's not, not nobody, true. That's not true, though. No, people Red would. I, we, I, I just ain't met them. I just ain't met them. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I met no one say it. I met. Would you put Sting? I met. Would you put Sting? Not on mine. Would you put Sting? Sting is a Mount Rushmore talent. That's bro. cool. You could be in contention. I didn't say that he's in my Mount Rushmore. Yeah, that's what he is. That's what he said. Rushmore he's a Mount Rushmore talent. talent. He's, he's, he's in contention. That is a very... Talent. Doesn't mean that there's a gonna way down. down. He's in contention, 100%. But, nonsense, but the fact that he doesn't come up as much as you maybe believe he should... I don't see that. But you're obviously from a different generation too, bro. You didn't, but your generation didn't I'm see Sting. 45 years old. <laughs> <laughs> your generation didn't see Sting like that. No, yeah. I, I, ag- I agree you what you're saying, saying and it's different times I'm and stuff like that. How, however, even yourself that has seen your Sting. Man, more people like what? You, you like wait, wait, wait. Don't point the like finger like here. Like uh-huh. Eugene, hey, isn't it? Point your, <laughs> finger, point your finger back at him. Like don't point the finger here. Eugene and Viscera and them man there. You, that you've just said that you watched him and all of that, you won't put it. He's not on your Matt Rush. That's what, I'm different though because I, I, I why are you I'm different I'm from all kinds of wrestlers I, I watch all the different type of wrestlers so I've got a different standard to put my match yeah, but he yeah, still me. doesn't but fit my in there, man, I didn't say that I was in my mind. You did. I, know, yeah. I never said that. He doesn't said, go said, into I, your Mount Rushmore. Yeah, though. but that doesn't so so. You know, many other wrestlers doesn't go into my Mount Rushmore. No, no, but yeah, that's I know. Sean's not in my Mount Rushmore. Yeah, but that's Shawn Michaels. Not yeah, but Shawn Mount Michaels is in a lot of people. Yeah, and Sting is in a lot of people. Not this a lot. Is, I'm no, don't he, he might be. Do not piss me off, man. With your freaking Mickey Mouse Cena tattoos, man. Sting, Sting. No, no, no. Don't do this. We're not doing this to Sting. We are not doing this to Sting. Look, yeah. You might watch wrestling for two years. I think you can tell me about Sting. Do not do this to me, bruv. You see how passionate Sting, this guy is? No, 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 no. Nah, but Sting's not there. Exactly. No one's disrespecting Sting. No one's disrespecting Sting. You are, you are, no and one. you are. Me? What I'm saying is, that's oh. because he's not in my Mount Rushmore. That's doesn't mean he's not in others. I say, I know people that put him in mine. But, I know people that no, put Sting no, in No, no, of course, but. You but, don't, but I do. But I've rarely, rarely heard it. And I know, obviously, yeah, different generation. The, totally. The pe- that no, comes into it, The bro. people that I wouldn't have seen the NWA days, that kind of exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. But. I still don't think he will go into like a lot of people. I I well, I personally think. Let me tell you what. Put a poll up on Twitter. 
Let's see how it goes down. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Look, honestly, yeah, we just ask. done this four of us, and that's all we have to go yeah. by. And no one is, would put him in there, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. And comparing if, him if to Shawn w- Michaels, if it was WCW, Mount Rushmore, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, that's why I asked you. Even like, TNA, what, like, the world of even wrestling, TNA. Exactly. Even that's TNA. That's the thing. Is Mount Rushmore in the world of wrestling? He, he is a contender. He's definitely game. a contender. Do you think Shawn Michaels he, he would have been in the first round? What I'm saying, listen, you would. I think you're misunderstanding what I'm trying to say. I said the Mount Rush. First and foremost, the the Mount Rushmore of wrestling is Flair, Hogan, Austin Rock. Yes, that's the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Then you have people's personal Matt Rushman. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Sting will be in a lot of people's personal Matt Rushman. No, but he's not in the. No, we're talking right. about the. Yeah, we're, yeah, 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 that's what we're talking about. The. Yeah, Matt Rushman type talent. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, 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 with you. Yeah, but in terms of that was the argument. Yeah. Oh, that's what you misunderstood what I was saying. You you were saying something else. That's my point though. The fact that he's not is strange because I when I think of wrestling, I think of. If you if someone said wrestling and I yeah. had to spout off ten names, Sting's probably going to be in those ten mm. because when I think of wrestling, he's one of those names because he's been around for so long and put in so much work, been so many different places. But the fact that he's not there is is strange, isn't it? He escapes that because he's lacking something. Yeah, I, mean, I don't, yeah, he didn't I don't even know what heights. That's why, and he didn't have a WWE run like he should have. Yeah, but those heights he did reach in the eight. Well, no, he, he reached when heights, Hogan Warrior were over here, him yeah, and he Flair was, was over yeah, here. Yeah, they were doing bits, but, yeah, and I think that, like you said, WWE might. Yeah. Such a household name. It's like you gotta think about it, it's like Kenny, Kenny Omega today, right? If he doesn't have a WWE run. But I think you Kenny what I'm Kenny to say? No, that was just a good point, but at the same time I think Kenny Omega's mainstream exposure, especially now mm. and, um, and the same as things. As well yeah, as yeah, I guess so. I guess thing. so, but I don't think I don't <laughs> think Sting was I'm like. Right now, I don't think, but if we again, if we look at Sting and all of these numbers we've just crunched now, mm. I don't think Sting will come up in terms of. Um, top performers and stuff. Run, yeah. yeah. It depends how no, I agree, with, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, well, right now. But I think in like, terms of... Say Kenny's career, is, the great career as he has right yeah. now, and then he decides to give up in the next three, four years, doesn't do anything in WWE. Mm-hmm. Is he a modern day Matt Rushmore? Yeah. Kenny it's Omega, a yes. It's a possibility. Yes, 150 but that's million. The same, that's the same thing Sting had. That's yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. That's fine. But remember, but I think before Kenny has Kenny's been like exposed... A bit, a bit more like Flair, I guess, I would say. Yeah, and Kenny's like I was saying, like Kenny has been more exposed, especially now as a character. Before, everyone was just happy with Kenny Omega, even just from his matches alone. The and we've already established the wrestler Sting wasn't having Kenny-level matches. No, no, not at all. So, not at all. yeah, it's... It feels harsh, but he's a high free... But yeah, it does feel a bit. I harsh think he should be a four, personally. Overall, but if his in-ring work isn't as good as others, then does he, you know, deserve to be those fours? Yeah, and and yeah, between the that promos, and promo is what yeah. dragged him down. When we done Kenny so Omega, um, quite a while ago. What did you give Kenny, by the way? I think he came out as a four out of five overall, but his <laughs> promo dragged him down like all the way down. What you you what you think about? I don't totally disagree, but I just think it's early. It is, it's it's def- of course, I of course. Think, I don't Remember, think it's of course. Was me and NK doing that break it down. Man. Oh, of course. So and that tells you. New Japan Mark. <laughs> 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 he, he's the chairman of the TDM, the Tokyo Dome Merchants. So yeah, don't that's what they do. But guys, this is just our opinions again. Please put down below in the comments what you think in regards to aesthetic, promo, ability, and legacy for Sting. Also, let us know any other break it downs you want us to do. Thank you very much for Cam, Gigi, Skillet coming through, helping us break it down for the wrestlers we have spoken about. Again, all their information is down below in the description for you guys to follow them. WrestleManiac UK signing out, and I'll see you soon.